A researcher says members of the LGBT community are not the only people being discriminated against. Consultant sociologist at Protect Inc. Dr. Veronica Evelyn said it was easy to get carried away with that notion. Dr. Evelyn was one of the panelists discussing alternate sexuality during a forum hosted by the Barbados Rally of Concerned Citizens and Churches at Queen's College. This whole matter of discrimination, we say discrimination. Now, I did some research for the NHAC um, two years ago, and it was about stigma and discrimination and HIV AIDS and so on. And one of the things we found was that the elderly are discriminated against, children are discriminated against, women are discriminated against. They, uh, people have problems because people are not kind. However, it is the LGBT community that somehow has isolated itself and its problems and has magnified it as if this is the only community that, has, that is being mistreated. Now, it has to be attended to because there are some things that we Christians do and we have to ask ourselves and really work through it, is this discrimination or is this discretion? I know for a fact that if a, a member of the LGBT community went for a job and did not get it solely on the basis of their sexual orientation, I would march. If they were, if they had something, you know, if they were denied a house or so on, so that we have to be very mature in this, and it's very easy to get volatile, and that is a trap that we, have, we must not get into. When we hear words like hater and bigotry and violence, when we get blows below the belt and so on, this is the approach that has been fostered, it is how it has been framed, and as a church, we have to rise above that, be much more mature, and just deal with the facts, deal with the truth, deal with love. 